वेलकम टू अवर माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर देशमुख एम एस गोविंद प्रेजेंट दी लेक्चर्स ऑन द सब्जेक्ट डायनामिक ऑफ मशीनरी यूनिट नंबर थ्री दैट्स टू डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम सिस्टम्स विद फोर्स वाइब्रेशन नाउ वट इज द the and dam free vibrations at the initially so free vibrations that is without external force uh, while and dam vibration that is a the, there is a no resistance while the vibrating the systems now some figure is showing that there is a some free vibrations and without any damping is provided the mass m having the different positions at the starting positions with application of mass m and again with the motions Now, simple harmonic motions. What is harmonic motions here? So it is quite simpler one to and fro motions of the body that is called as what harmonic motions, which shows uh, some length will be extended because of the uh, mass m and having some just deflection l plus s uh, and x at the end. Now the two degree of freedom system. What is it? Is so it is quite simpler one. The degree of freedom is what number of independent variable to describe the motion of system. That is a two. Under that condition, it is called a two degree of freedom system. So for two degree of freedom system, we are required two parameters and this parameter in terms of displacement. So that is what the x and x one uh, with the mass m and m two. Now this is some mechanism shows that the two degree of freedom system having the two springs and two masses, so having the different amplitude. Okay, so the mass m, this is blue line, and the some red mass that is the, the m2 mass, which having the different magnitude of the spring and the mass. That's why it is being deflected in different ways. Now differential equations of this mass m1 and m2. It's quite simpler one for the mass m. The forces available m1 x1 double dot, and the force k2 into x2 minus x1. Quite simpler one. The initial de deflection, and the second that is the final deflection. We can say the 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 deflection of the mass m2 x2 minus x1. Similar to the what are the forces available with the mass m2 m2 x2 double dot and k3 x2. so by means of the newton second law of motions so for m1 m1 x1 double dot that is equal to minus k1 x1 plus x k2 into bracket x2 minus x1 similar to the mass m2 the m2 x2 double dot minus k3 x2 minus k2 in bracket x2 minus x1 quite simpler one uh, these are the amplitude we are got the x1 and x2 is equal to K2 in bracket K1 plus K2 minus M1 omega square. Again, we are got some second root also. X1 upon X2 is equal to in bracket square bracket uh, K2 plus K3 is simple bracket minus M2 omega square uh, up to the square bracket divided by K2. These are the two the roots are available by solving this the equation. so what about the modes of shapes so what is the the uh, vibration mode from their initial to end so this will be shows x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to 1 also so again one more mode we are available that is x1 and we have got some mode at the middle that is being zero conditions so one more node is available and this is uh, all about the mode shapes some typical problem we have taken here so what is the problem statement here obtain the frequency equation of the system which shows in the figure as to determine the natural frequency and the mode shapes when k1 is equal to 2k k2 is equal to k and m1 is equal to m and at the last m2 is equal to s m so similar to the last one we have seen in the theories just uh, draw the pictorial diagrams and uh, shows the forces on m1 and m2 after the same process that we have to follow and after following this we are got that some equations and just put in the equations values we are get the omega n is equal to 0.56 under root of k by m and omega n2 is equal to 1.784 under root of k by m so this is all about the your problem solutions now with the more shapes is there they are asking also 
so first mode if there is a omega is 1 is equal omega n 1 square is equal to 0 0.3138 kilometer uh, k by m okay again it having some value of x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 2.6858 after putting these values we are got the x1 and x2 again omega n2 square is equal to 3.186 under this situation we are got the different mode and we are got some node is also which is showing here so x2 is equal to minus 0 0.186 this is all about the problem solutions it's quite simpler one just to see the theories and from that theories uh, see the steps to be followed put all this value in that we have got the answer so thank you for this